Even chewing gum is tested before released. No surprise when it comes to the world's most powerful weapon, nuclear weapons. Since the first nuclear weapon appeared, dozens of nuclear tests, both successful and unsuccessful, have been conducted. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, we will cover some of the most interesting and spectacular nuclear tests. After a tour of the mushroom cloud, we'll visit Spongebob, and you'll see how the revealing women's bathing suits that made people roll their eyes came to be. Is this intriguing enough for you? Then let's get started. Atomic Cannon Firing Operation Upshot Knothole was a series of 11 nuclear tests conducted by the US military at the Nevada test site in 1953. Over 21,000 soldiers participated in the entire exercise, training in coordinated actions in the conduct of missions under nuclear warfare and learning about the possible use of nuclear weapons. As part of this military exercise, the first and last nuclear artillery shell was fired from the M65 Atomic Annie, a giant heavy artillery gun. A nuclear warhead with a power of 15 kilotons was successfully sent out 11 kilometers from the launch point. Following the success of the test, the US built more than 20 atomic cannons and sent them to Korea, Japan and Europe. Several of these atomic cannons are still on display in museums today including the first Atomic Annie. Orange Herald Nuclear Test In 1957, the United Kingdom conducted a nuclear bomb test using a deuterium-tritium nuclear reaction as a booster. The Orange Herald Small, with a power of 720 kilotons, was detonated on Malden Island. It became the most powerful single artillery shell in human history. The Orange Herald Large, a megaton-class shell, remained in England as a backup. It was not suitable for the content of a ballistic missile due to its size. If anything, it was built just in case. The Big Bang in Space On July 9, 1962, a Thor rocket carrying the nuclear warhead, Starfish Prime, was launched into space from Johnston Atoll in the Pacific Ocean as part of the Starfish project. At an altitude of 400 meters above the ground, it detonated the most powerful in-space explosion in the world, with a power output of 1.4 megatons. The result was a powerful electromagnetic pulse that even the designers had not intended. The EMP caused about 300 streetlights and telephone company equipment to fail in the Hawaiian Islands, 1,450 kilometers from the launch site. There was a massive alarm system activation in the area, and appliances were turned off. Along with that, a light show began. The sky burned with explosions, which lasted for several minutes. The aurora borealis shone on both sides of the equator, and a rainbow bomb party was held at a hotel in Hawaii to commemorate the event. Space was not common quite either, with three satellites failing immediately and at least six spacecraft in the following months. Even the Big Bang Theory would be on the verge of blowing up. And more ferocious ones will come. Keep watching. Welcome to Bikini Atoll. Bikini Atoll is best known for the adventures of SpongeBob. But that is not the only reason the Bikini Atoll is famous. It is also the site where the US conducted 23 nuclear tests over a 12 year period. But the most important in the mode sense is the first ABLE test, conducted on July 1st, 1946. In this test, a bomb codenamed Gilda, after the character played by actor Rita Hayworth, was dropped. There was another explosive effect of this experiment besides the direct one. Immediately four days later, in Paris, fashion designer Louis Raird surprised the world by presenting a swimsuit called Bikini. The two halves of the swimsuit symbolized a fissioned atom. Today, the manufacture and sale of bikinis is a multi-billion dollar business. This is the mark that the Able test left on the fashion world. Bombs like factories 
It's time to move on to the really powerful nuclear tests. These two have been caught on camera. The first one of these was taken during the Mike test, part of the US Operation Ivy. It took place on a new Atok Atoll on November 1st, 1952. A total of 11,650 soldiers and experts participated in the preparation of the experiment. The 74-ton bomb placed on the small island looked more like a factory to be detonated for data collection, rather than a working weapon. And the explosion was fierce. The output was 10.4 megatons, and the island where the explosion took place was completely obliterated. All that remained was a crater 50 meters deep. The area around the island was also severely shaken. First, a fireball over 5 kilometers in diameter appeared at the test site. The nuclear mushroom lifted 37 kilometers into the air and spread an umbrella 160 kilometers in diameter. A shockwave traveled in all directions, wiping out all vegetation on the surrounding islands in a 6 meter tsunami. Radioactive coral debris rained down on ships that were within a 35 kilometer radius of the hypocenter. Edward Teller, who was in Berkeley, witnessed the event with his seismograph readings and sent a telegram to a colleague saying, a baby boy has been born. Then, just a few hours later, news of the test reached the general public. This nuclear explosion also had academic significance. Scientists collected samples of the gas above the island and confirmed the presence of the long-expected elements, Ethereum and Einsteinium. Symbolic Hydrogen Bomb Tests In March 1954, the US government initiated a new series of tests at Bikini Atoll called Operation Castle. This was distinguished as a high-energy test that included three of the most powerful nuclear tests ever conducted in the United States. All three of them are presented in this video. One of those three major nuclear tests was the Operation Castle Romeo test. In the test, a barge carrying a hydrogen bomb, codenamed Runt, with a calculated nuclear output of 4 megatons was placed in the center of a crater created by the previous test. The barges were used because when nuclear tests were conducted on islands, the powerful bombs would not only kill all life, but also obliterate the testing facilities. And the power of the nuclear explosion executed on March 27th exceeded all calculations. At 11 megatons of TNT equivalent, it was about triple what had been assumed. This has become the object of cult-like adoration in the pop culture world. One photograph of the test was used repeatedly as an image of nuclear testing. It was a symbol of the nuclear age. If you know this photo, please mention it in the comment section. If you have never seen it, please comment. We are waiting to hear from you. The Fleeting Cloud Castle of the Operation Castle Yankee Test Only a month and a half after the Operation Castle Romeo test, Bikini Atoll became a test site again. For the Operation Castle Yankee Test, a bomb, codenamed Jughead, was built. But the name was eventually changed to Runt, the same as for the Romeo test and the new Runt 2 was twice as powerful as the first one, with a calculated power of 8 megatons. And in the previous case, the nuclear output exceeded the estimated value, reaching 13.5 megatons. 10 minutes after the explosion, a cloud of radioactive material rose to a height of 40 kilometers. At the time of the test, weather conditions were extremely windy, the wind speed at 12 kilometers above the ground was 120 kilometers per hour. This accelerated the rate of dispersion of the fallout, and after four days, it reached Mexico City over a distance of 7,000 kilometers. America's most powerful nuclear explosion. Two months before the 8-1 Yankee test, the most powerful nuclear test yet conducted by the United States was held at the same Bikini Atoll. The energy output of Castle Bravo was 15 megatons, more than two and a half times the power expected from the hydrogen bomb that was ludicrously named Shrimp. One second after the explosion, a huge fireball more than seven kilometers in diameter was formed at Namu Atoll. It was visible from 400 kilometers away from the hypocenter. The nuclear mushroom grew to a height of 14 kilometers and the umbrella was 11 kilometers wide. 
A crater 2 kilometers in diameter and 76 meters deep was left behind on Namu Atoll. Radioactive material fell on nearby inhabited islands and on ships. Fallout was observed in Australia and India, as well as in the continental United States and Europe. Public opinion reacted harshly to the sixth most powerful nuclear explosion in human history. People began to open up about the dangers of nuclear testing. Tsar Bomba The Soviet nuclear program was always conducted with maximum secrecy, but the world's most powerful explosion was eventually caught on camera. It took place on October 30, 1961, at the Sukhoi Nos nuclear test site in the Novaya Zemla archipelago. The power of the explosion of the so-called Tsar Bomba, which means Emperor of Bombs, exceeded 58 megatons. The bomb was dropped by parachute from an airplane specially built for the purpose. The flash of the nuclear explosion could be seen as far as 1,000 kilometers away from the hypocenter, as far as Alaska and Norway. A two-layered mushroom cloud, 67 kilometers high and 95 kilometers in diameter, was created at the test site. The shockwave from this experiment circled the Earth three times. The force of the explosion was so powerful that windows of buildings within 800 kilometers of the test site were smashed, and the area completely destroyed was as large as that of Paris, including its suburbs. Even though Tsar Bomba was not a weapon, the nuclear test led the Soviet Union, the United States, and Great Britain to set limits on the intensity and power of their own nuclear tests. Two years later, the three countries signed the treaty banning nuclear weapon tests in the atmosphere, in outer space, and underwater, commonly known as the Partial Test Ban Treaty. Now that we're a little bit more relaxed, let's wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thinking of the danger and harm that nuclear testing poses to all living things, we can only hope that it will become a thing of the past. I sincerely hope that there will be no more videos of nuclear weapons in this world. Please like us if you share our hope. With that, I bid you all a quick farewell. See you again soon. Take care everyone. Bye!